Welcome to the Great African Leadership Series, where we feature great inspirational speeches and quotes from African leaders. Class 2018, congratulations once again. <clears throat> Excellence and answers to Africa's greatest challenges are to be found right here in Africa, and we just need the conviction and confidence to go for it. This is what LAU represents. By bringing together Africa's brightest young leaders and giving them the tools and opportunity to put their talents to use, you are playing a critical role in the transformation of our continent. You can count on our support in this important work. A few words to the new graduates. The collaboration that you have shaped with your colleagues during your time here is important. It can only strengthen the unity and cooperation we are building across the continent and the more productive partnerships we seek with the rest of the world. You are graduating as leaders of this century with the ability and capacity to deal with today's challenges. Allow me to draw from some of our own experiences here in Rwanda. Earlier this week, we celebrated the 24th anniversary of our country's liberation. When we first set out, many of us in the liberation struggle did not have much management or leadership experience. We were forced to learn quickly from situations as they evolved, often without warning, and we had to devise solutions accordingly just to stay alive. Some of the calculated risks we took failed, but many paid off. This was the case on the battlefront and later on as we worked to govern and manage our relations with other countries. The lesson here was that there will always be challenges along the way. What matters is to find ways to confront them head on and to continually make progress. Many of you will be putting your MBA to use on a continent that is better off than it has ever been and changing rapidly. At the same time, we are all keenly aware of global uncertainty. Nationalism and protectionism are on the increase. As a citizens question their political systems, even in the most economically advanced nations. 
However, as bleak as the news may seem at times, there is opportunity for African countries to get better organized and provide leadership on vital global issues. On the other hand, the world also generally keeps improving and getting better. For example, the African Union is steadily implementing our institutional reform as we continue to pursue greater integration and economic prosperity. To date, 49 countries have signed the African Continental Free Trade Agreement. More than half of member states have also signed the agreement on the free movement of people. Strive, I wanted to let you know that uh, it may not take you another 10 years to dig from uh, <laughs> one country to another. And you know, by the way, the reason uh, when you arrived uh, in Rwanda, uh, you didn't spend much time without uh, getting the approvals. The reason is simple. It, it, it actually builds on how we count here in Rwanda. When you arrived, we counted those 10 years. <laughs> I want to congratulate you once again and conclude by expressing our appreciation to the founders of the African Leadership University. You are demonstrating that it is possible to provide relevant world-class education and to nurture leaders who can thrive globally while remaining grounded in African values, culture, and the real challenges we all face. Once again, all the best to you, all the graduates, and we wish you every success as you continue on your respective leadership journeys. Thank you for your kind attention. And share this video with friends and family to support the channel.